Hello and welcome to my Tech Fun YouTube channel. And I'm currently at my workplace on Mata University because here I have the Adventure 5M Pro Flash from CD Printer, which I donated to my department. And FlashForge gave me some big homework again because they sent me some filaments for the testing. I have here three PTG filaments and three ABS and ASC filaments. The PTG filaments will be presented in a separate video and these ABS and ASC filaments are the subjects for this video. I will compare these filaments with each other but the results are comparable with those which I did in earlier videos because I am constantly using the same testing method. Let's take a closer look. This is ABS filament in black color, ABS Pro in blue color and ASA in white color. We have some information on the box, the print temperature for both ABS filaments between 220 and 240 degrees Celsius and uh, the ASA is between 240 and 260 degrees Celsius, so a little bit higher print temperature. On the bed temperature I also can see some difference for ABS and ASA 100 degrees Celsius, for ABS Pro 80 degrees Celsius. Everything will be printed on Adventure 5 and Pro CD printer, which is enclosed and this is important for these filaments and this will reduce the warping. And everything will be printed with 0.4mm regular brass nozzle. And now let's check the settings in the Orca slicer. The nozzle temperature will be 240 degrees Celsius, 100 on the bed and 15 will be the max flow rate. These are the percentage for the fan, but pay attention to the overhang 80%. Um, this will create some problems, I will talk about it later. I will use the glue stick and it is nice to see these recommended temperatures for the bed surface. I am starting with ABS, which is in this nice black color. I am placing on the spool holder, inserting the filament which will actually push out the previous one. This is how it works, I cannot pull out the old filament from the nozzle. The filament is changed. I'm using the internal circulation filtration, which works good until these filters are quite new, but just in case I will open the window too. It works okay, but uh, I prefer better if I exhaust those fumes outside of the room. And now a few seconds in real time speed, so you can see the speed of the printer. As you can see, it is completely enclosed printer. And when it finished, I checked the bed adhesion. It's printed correctly, but I think the bed adhesion should be better. And now moving to the ABS Pro. It is in nice blue color. It also has a desiccant inside. Pushing out the previous filament from the nozzle and extruder. The filament is changed. And I'm using the same G-code here. Here you can see some footage in the real-time speed. And this is the last object vertically printed for the layer adhesion test. And it's finished. And interesting, this time the bed adhesion is better. And when it cools down, with the flexing I can easily remove them. And now moving to the ESA. This one is in white color. Again pushing out the previous filament. The filament and color is changed. And in a slicer I'm using now 260 degrees Celsius on the nozzle and 105 degrees Celsius on the bed and 12 will be the flow rate. This is the first layer. Again few seconds of the real time footage. And the printing is finished. This is the next day when it completely cooled down, very easy to remove the objects. I can start the mechanical testing. This is the tensile or pulling test with the horizontally printed objects. The smallest cross section area is 4 by 4 millimeters, And I'm starting with ABS. 62.9, not bad for the ABS. Now ABS Pro. Weaker, 48.6 kilograms the brake load. And now the ASA, somewhere between. And interesting to see this color change on this material before it breaks, it turns white. This may be useful in some applications. And interesting to see that it didn't broke on smallest cross section area, but for one types of the material they broke quite equally. And now the layer attention test with the vertically printed objects. Again starting with ABS. Around 20 kilograms, this is the edge of the acceptable. ABS Pro, 
similar ASA stronger much stronger 37.9 kilograms I'm interested to see that only ASA broke on a small section area but the other two no and I was thinking what can be the reason for this and actually in the meantime I figured out that the fan speed for the overhangs it cranks up to 80% which may be too big for the layer adhesion and now the shear stress two side the shear stress and here you can see side by side all three materials uh, more or less very similar maybe the pro is a little bit weaker here and they are shared correctly on those two cross section areas and now the torque or twist test the diameter is 6 millimeters of these objects and I want to record the load at 90 degree angle which you can see now and also I record the maximal torque in newton meters and this is how they look like after this test uh, almost one rotation I could make before the break and now three point bending test here you can see my setup when all loads are placed but I replace them one by one and I will measure the deformation after 130 and 60 seconds this is between supports is 50 millimeters and here I can see now the 2.5 kilogram load is placed on the test object 5 kilograms and the 10 kilograms And after the test, when I remove the load, uh, I can see some minimal permanent deformation on them, but this would be hardly measurable. But it's visible. The impact test with these notch test objects and the half kilogram hammer. ABS. ABS Pro. ASA. Zero position. I can see some interesting breaks, but all three quite tough materials compared to the PETG from previous video. Now let's check the numbers. This is the zero position of the hammer, and this is after breaking the ABS part, ABS Pro, ASA. And if I measure everything from the zero position, I will get the age which I can use in this equation to calculate the breaking energy. And from these three, the ABS Pro is the most brittle material. And now the creep test, the deformation under the constant load, which will be 1.25 kilograms. These are flat forge uh, PTG materials. Position locked for more accurate measuring. 1595. 16.9. 16.13. So the smallest deformation is currently on the black ABS. Day 5, let's measure them. 1687. 1844. 1760. So the smallest deformation is on the ABS part, but let's remove the load. side by side and I think the smallest deformation is now on the ASA part. The temperature test in the oven and this is the sensor. And these three on the right side are those filaments from this video. M10 nut is a small load and I want to record the temperature of the first deformation. This is speed up time lapse video. And all three started to deform on similar temperatures approximately at 90 degrees Celsius. I stopped the experiment at uh, 120 degrees Celsius and maybe for the feeling the ASA is the hardest but there is no big difference between them. For functional materials it is important to know the shrinking because we will have better dimensional accuracy if we want to print some mechanical parts but also we will have less warping during the printing. And here I will include the measurements for the PETG, this is from my previous video. These are printed in horizontal position and I will measure above the elephant foot so it will not affect the measurements. PTG, PTG Pro, carbon fiber PTG and probably with these filaments we will have more shrinking. ABS, ABS Pro, ASA. 
Now let's analyze the results and this Excel table you can download from mytechman.com website and as always these three lines will be added to that summary table for my Patreon supporters. Let's start with the creep test. So these are those directly measured values, distance between two reference surfaces and what we need is the difference between two days and uh, that's what we can see on this graph. And here you can see that the ABS Pro and ASA was quite similar here and the best was the ABS. On the tensile test, uh, ABS and ASA very similar, ABS Pro a little bit weaker. On the layer adhesion test, well, ABS and ABS Pro on the edge of acceptable, and probably be, this is because of that uh, bigger part cooling for the overhangs when it's printing these holes. But even then, the ASA was the strongest, and this is very good layer adhesion. On the shell stress, no big difference, but the weakest was the ABS Pro. Three point bending test, and uh, here we can see the deformation under these loads after 30 seconds. But again, let's jump, uh, this is more interesting. Here we can see the deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. And uh, we can see again that here the ABS and ASA was very similar, but the weakest here was the ABS Pro. On torque or twist test, uh, no big difference here. On IZ impact test, uh, well, the ABS is the toughest material, but very similar to ASA. And the most brittle was this ABS Pro. On the temperature test, no big difference here. Uh, also, we started with the formation around at 90 degrees Celsius. And as I mentioned, the shrinking test, and I included here the PETG results too. And of course, with PETG, the shrinking is much smaller. So that's why we have better dimensional accuracy and less warping. And these three ABS and ASA was very similar in this case. Well, another big work is finished. Only for video editing I needed two days. That's why I'm a little bit sad that the previous flash for PTG video got less than 2000 views so far. But anyway, quick conclusions. Well, about the ABS Pro, I couldn't really see the advantage of this material compared to the regular ABS. And I actually, I really like this uh, ABS material. It has a little bit weaker layer adhesion, but I already mentioned in the video what may be the problem. Different settings in Orca Slicer is that uh, for the overhang, the part cooling jumps up to 80%. But even with this, the ASA has great layer adhesion, so I really like this filament. Now I want to investigate this a little bit deeper, so I'm asking you to vote, I will start the poll on my channel, which is the most popular ABS filament, because I want to investigate a little bit deeper the layer tension strength in function of the printing temperature and the part calling. And don't forget to click that notification bell button too if you want to know about my new uploads because uh, from some reason YouTube don't really recommend my videos. I mean from 50,000 subscribers, only 2,000 views. I'm a little bit surprised, so maybe I should change the type of the, my content or something like that. But uh, if you want to see this kind of content, definitely you should click that notification bell button too. Thank you for watching and happy printing.